Hello again and welcome to Step by Step by Miriam. This video is a response to a question asked by Neil on my remove minimum, form, remove minimum figure and average remaining cells video. So if you would like to see Neil's question then have a look at my YouTube video called remove minimum figure and average remaining cells. So here Neil requires the number of competitions. Neil, I am not sure if this is what you what your question was, but this is how I've understood it. So what I have done is I have set up a little spreadsheet here that gives the name of all the participants that are taking part in the competitions down along column A. I then have along row one the the names of all the competitions that were taking place. And here now you require a formula to give you the number of competitions that uh, each participant took part in. Neil, before I enter the formula, can I just draw your attention to the blank cells? In this case, Pete did not participate in the Sligo competition. In this case, Mary did not take part in either Galway or Sligo competitions. Therefore, I have left the cells blank. Quite often, leaving a cell blank in Excel is frowned upon. But in this case, Neil, this is what you require, because to put in and occupy a cell, it will uh, influence the following formulas. So for your layout and this particular instance, I don't know if this is what you're after, but hopefully um, it will it, it give you an example of how I understood your question and the solution that I've come up with in my understanding. I now require the number of competitions that John has taken part in. So it's equals C-O-U-N-T, open brackets, and the first competition that John has took part in right across to the last competition that he's taken part in, close brackets and enter. So as you can see, it did not total John's scores. It just gave me the number of competitions. In other words, the count formula will count the number of occupied cells. And this is why it's important to leave the cell blank because we're now going to copy that formula down. So again, we put our mouse pointer here at the bottom right hand corner of the formula cell in cell K2, wait till the thin black cross shows up, hold the mouse button down and autofill the form in the whole way down for everyone else. So you can see here that it did count correctly because Mary only took part in seven competitions. The total score, this is not necessary by the way, I'm just putting this in so that you can compare a count and some formula. So the total score that John has scored over all his nine competitions is the following equal the sum open brackets and again John's first score right through to John's last score close brackets and enter and again we copy that equal sum open brackets b2 full colon to j2 close brackets form of the whole way down again by placing our mouse pointer to the bottom right hand corner of the L2 cell wait till the autofill handle shows up that's the thin black cross hold the mouse button down and drag it the whole way down. As I said, this isn't necessary for your spreadsheet, but you know, it might be something that might be worth, you know, maybe they want to know that information, I don't know. Um, anyway, it was really to show you the difference between the sum function, which is equal to sum of, which will add the contents of the cells. The count formula, this one, where you need to know the number of competitions, is the count, count the cells that are occupied. Okay, so here now we're back to the formula that I came up with um, on your previous question and it's equals open brackets sum open brackets. We want to sum up this cell range for John close brackets minus John's minimum figure so it's equals open brackets min open brackets and again for the same cell range from here right across to here and we close brackets now you'll notice that we're missing two closing brackets it's very important that you pair up your brackets within excel so we require two more closing brackets to pair them up one two we would now like to get the average so we divide it by the number of competitions that John took part in, which is in K2. And we press the Enter key. And this gives us the average score for John over the nine competitions. This is what he has averaged. 
again for all of the others we click back into the cell we copy that formula down for everyone else's average over all the competitions that have they have taken part in we can now reduce this further by placing our mouse pointer here on decrease decimal and just round that down if that's what you want to do and that's their average score minus the minimum score for all of the competitions um, something else you might be you know you might like it's it's very it's it's just an extension of the count formula the count formula counts the number of occupied cells with figures what if you want to count the number of participants their names you know maybe a 50 or 60 well here's an easy way of doing it it's equals count c o u n t a count a think of a for alphabet their names are made up by the alphabet so think of it that way equals count a so if you want to occupy count cells that are occupied by names then it's equals count a open brackets go into the first cell drag the whole way down close your brackets and enter so you have eight participants with a maximum of nine competitions here's all their individual scores that they've achieved in each of the competitions this is their total score and this is an average of all of their competitions put together um, again Neil I'm I'm really not sure if this is what you wanted but if not you can adjust this anyway to suit your own needs but anyway this was my understanding of your question so I hope this helps and thank you for watching step by step by Miriam uh, Cardamila, my hugger.